Just don't be alarmed if you have a spotty shower. The majority of the rain chances will remain south of us. Here's where the front is right now. Now, we're not tracking as much moisture as before with this front, so rain chances have definitely been suppressed. Here's a look at those temperatures at the surface, which is saving us from having issues on the roads. Spring-like temperatures, amazing. Unfortunately, we're talking about another cold front headed our way. If you take a look at the big picture, we have nothing to complain about. We are already seeing sub-zero temperatures out in areas such as Minneapolis, and that's just one of the hundred stories that are going on and unfortunately we're still talking about feel like temperatures that are sub zero. Here's where the cold front is. It brought in some showers overnight, brought in some pretty strong winds this morning. It's bringing in some sleet reports. Do you, well, what do it's, you think about it? It's entertaining. It's just funny. Everyone knows yeah. it's kind of a joke. Is it? I'm going to win. Uh, you know how competitive I am. That's you true. know how She's competitive, very competitive I am. Yeah. And rodent if I lose, or no rodent, she'll, yeah. she'll compete. If I lose, I still dress better than that rodent. There Just we go. True true true. Win. Your, your hair is better, too. Well, thank you. Questionable some days, according to some viewers. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, let's talk about what's going on this morning. Um, you know what I mean? Not that I was doubting you, but it is uh -huh. freezing out there. <laughs> Don't worry. I get it all the time. <laughs> Moral of the story is I was right. That's right. An Arctic <laughs> cold front did drag through, and that's bringing in those cold temperatures this morning. On top of it, it is windy out there. So in my opinion, that's what makes it feel the worst. Hopefully, this forces you guys to get outside this beautiful view of the downtown skyline where temperatures are warming up so nicely. We're already in the mid-60s, already warmer than where we were yesterday because not as many clouds out there, but we are talking about a couple of systems that are making its way into our area. So you got to enjoy today. Today is going to be dry and warm versus what's headed our way because of these two systems. The Pacific, Pacific system bringing in lots of rain for California, ongoing now moving into the Four Corners region. This Arctic system bringing in some cold air for this weekend. Enjoy high pressure as it is our main influence as of right now. So here's what's going on temperature wise. We have 60s across the entire region. A few 50s still out there in Burnett, 57 degrees. Austin, we're at 64. Bastrop, low 60s for you guys, but we'll eventually get to the mid 70s 13 degrees above average for this afternoon with partly cloudy skies mainly is what we're tracking clouds are going to return tomorrow so that's why you gotta enjoy the outdoors today tomorrow we also factor in some small rain chances during the day ahead of the next cold front that will push through around midnight or so late friday night that's when we're going to have the chance of some scattered showers and storms not expecting severe weather, rainfall accumulation not going to amount to much either, but it is something that will bring in some wet weather for late Friday night, clearing out by Saturday morning. Highs in the 50s Saturday morning, sunny skies, but it's going to be very windy behind that front. On Saturday, we're talking gusts of up to 50 miles an hour, or excuse me, 30 miles an hour. Temperatures will be at 50 degrees for your highs on Saturday into Sunday. Not windy on Sunday. Take advantage of Sunday, clear sunny skies, but it's still going to be chilly. We'll be waking up to temperatures just above freezing for Austin, a light freeze for the majority of the viewing area. So that has changed in the forecast. Models are now trending a little bit warmer out there. So I think for Austin, we'll say just above freezing, even heading into the holiday on Monday. Highs in the 60s for Monday. How much rain can we expect? Half an inch to three quarters of an inch along and east of I-35, west of I-35, a little bit less. Less, up to a quarter of an inch at best for folks west of I-35. Your allergy count today, this is another reason why you guys should be outside. Cedar was low, mold was medium, and I did not see alternaria. We'll make sure to update you every single day in the Statesman. The next seven days, a busy one, that's for sure, with spring-like temperatures today. Frigid temperatures and a light freeze for some over the weekend. We'll be back after the break.